Hold on. <laughs> you say that as if that was going to stop. Oh no. Like, I, I, that game is now lost into the ether and gone forever. No. It's an early access title, so that means it's it's probably never going to be good. <laughs> also, test. hello. One, two, one, there three, you are. Hello. Oh, hi, B. Oh. It's also rather funny because, to my understanding, um, like they, they were supposed to make another one of their match three porn games, and then they uh, took the money, ran, and made something wholesome instead. <laughs> <laughs> and it would seem they paid the ultimate price. Wait, this is on the fucking R E engine. This is on the R E yeah. engine, yeah. Why is it on the R E engine? This uh, is not not this cool. Mm -hmm. To make it's it look a very good, good question. It it already looked good. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't. It was on the DS. But other than that... I mean, you'd still look good on the DS. Trapped on the DS no longer. Plenty of things not. that look good on the DS. Not, you know like what? what? Else good on the DS? Rindy, anyways. <laughs> it feels right. like a disc. Rindy was Rindy DS. on the DS? <laughs> no! Don't put me in a fucking 160p resolution console! You are going to the <laughs> DS and you're gonna like it. You're we'll check it. Hell yeah. Unconscious this time as well, huh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. It's not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. He's starting to remind me of me. Why? Well, I... Everyone seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. I mean, huh? Pretty good name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean like that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's nothing to lose! What? 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 <laughs> what? Okay. Something real unusual is going down in, the, down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another, take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right. Of course. It'd be pretty heinous if it looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. <laughs> <laughs> there. I don't more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Oh. I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Everything's so confusing! Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy! But I've got some things to ask you about. I'm looking for the answers to the question, who am I and why was I killed? Is there anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think it was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me. I think. Melis meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed! But I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me! No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. But no. No <laughs> way! Uh, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> so I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching bad, the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! 
Oh, yeah, they have to go and die in an old junkyard like this. Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing, and manipulating Shot. objects. Shot. And about going back four minutes before a person's death. So he's going back to the past to play the shitty the games that suck ass. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? She was unconscious that time. Also, you kind of undid that. Oh, okay, shit. Hmm. Yes, I think I do remember something that is happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressing on black. Okay, so the blue man thing isn't like a stylistic choice. He's actually just yeah, no, no, they're bl they're blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're that a group. Even if a death, That's their gimmick. Because I mean, even if a death is a, is erased, the memory of it remains. I, mean, I thought that, I thought that missile kind of confirmed that already. I had twice already tonight. You know what they say about shadows. Wish I knew what to say to her. I guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet it's some kind of record, don't you think? Bruh. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was an accident. Why the world would I be out to, in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding! You mean... Bingo! Who are you? I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you! Why do you ask me to come here tonight? Why out here in the middle of nowhere? You gotta be kidding me! Isn't it saying that I don't remember? Uh, everything is so confusing! Can't you do something? Mm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me any or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry. But they can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. Ew. I know it's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think, I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Huh? I'm certainly not gonna threat treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So are you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you get shot? This <laughs> Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewind her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she couldn't have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's why I knew I could trust her. <laughs> this one will do nothing for me, so I must save her. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? She just like me, for real. Don't do that. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. A chicken dinner, bro? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> she a winner win. I, I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Hey! <laughs> evening, Patrolman! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work now. Do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir! Yeah, how's it going, baby? <laughs> it's Fredo Cabanilla. What are you doing here? I thought a special investigation to you had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter? At times like this, when my lane is in crisis. I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you say crisis? Tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy haired man in a red suit? I mean, I've never even met a guy before. Hmm. Never, baby? Oh, well. Uh. Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see. But it, but it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved in any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to, even, to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, babe? <laughs> you know if anything oh. ever happened to you? Justin? Yeah? We cannot hear you, sir. You can't? I I can. I, I can hear you. I do not notice any issues. Oh, wait, wait, do you mean on stream? Yeah, I can. Oh. Like, I'm on audible stream? on- No, I'm on audible on stream, too. My mic is, like, bobbing up and down and shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. B? Hello now. How about now, B? Oh, hi, B. Hello? B? Oh, no. Oh, damn. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give me a scare there for a second. Alright, how about now, B? You good? Oh, no. Uh oh. Whatever Spaghetti happened to Brindy is now passed on to B. I love. Well, no, B B was audible, but, but the earlier, man, earlier it was so wild. Like I could hear people, but no one could hear me, and I could see the stream. And then I tried like disconnecting and reconnecting, and then I couldn't hear anyone at all, or okay. they have them hear B, but I, but I could still see the stream. Oh Christ! Yeah, no, it uh, seems like it's working fine on stream. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I will be taking the place of B's rules tonight. And, uh, <laughs> this. You're gonna be a tiny little schoolgirl? I don't. What? Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, the, the immediate acceptance. Joshi has come a long way, it seems. I mean, I did her Angie and fucking Umineka. It doesn't matter. Alright, B, how about now? The silence is deafening. <laughs> Hello. There you are. Hey! Hi. Holy hey. shit! Hello. That was scary, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. I got put into the quiet, like, no route room. <laughs> <Look at this>. <laughs> <laughs> Dead end. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, here. I never be able to look him in the eyes again. Yeah, again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. 
Get down! Seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> and you suck. Finds Fado Caminella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the, the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in through, though. In any case, let's just give it our try. Our four minute game. Time to play a four minute game. You see, he has <laughs> to pull it off, and he has to pull out of this situation in four minutes, so he's gonna need a great pullout game. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm gonna do anything right now. Okay. Let's see. What did she gotta say? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't open up the notebook. Let's put this bl blinding pink notebook. Oh, that's mine. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> why is why is it your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked. Okay, don't you shift things in the bookcase when you panic? Who are you calling anyway? It's personal business. Well, don't worry about it. Thank you. Very helpful. But just because it might keep me from dying? Ooh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you, Justin! Congratulations! I... Hello! Should I... I... Can I... I can't voice every yeah, man. Why not? Does look like bread. Hello! Uh -huh. The chicken or kitchen! Shoe. You want the chicken? We got your chicken! One chicken dinner, please. Actually, do you want to be the guard? You want to be the guard? No, I'm good. Okay. Would you like to order a fried chicken with that? <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't think. Oh, wait. I don't think. You don't think any... going to the the chicken kitchen will not help you in this? Wait, there's murder? a wine bottle underneath his fucking hat. Yeah, what about it? Hey. What, what, yeah, what else are you gonna do with it? Still. Got a fucking stressful job. Now, to be fair, Listen, if, he's not... if someone was cooking me some nice, like, fettuccine and then whipped out a bottle of wine from under <laughs> their hat to, like, garnish Listen. it, I would be fucking amazed. Listen, he's a he's not a great cook, okay? The, the, the wine bottle controls him and does the cooking. It has to be in a cool, dry place that's also, uh, very shielded from heat, so, I mean, it's the perfect place, really. <laughs> I don't remember what science is. <laughs> What's a science? OMG. These pictures are very handsome. That's you. That's you. These pictures are old. What are they off? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my the memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this dude. <laughs> We're gonna find out he, he's wanted for seven murders. This, yeah. this Sissel, there's something up to, with this Sissel. He's a Sissel with secrets. He's a bit Sissel-y for my, uh, for my liking. We don't know that he isn't a dick Sissel. Your no- Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I have to use my critical thinking skills. I thought you were supposed to get fancy I, I did remember in. something. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without noticing. I'll fucking 
chose the green man too, that's right. Uh, what's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to. I noticed something suspicious. You did? Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, huh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she's using the phone when I came in, too, and reference referring to her notebook. Okay, so I'll be over later. Don't let it, don't allow me notice anything. Hey, look at that. The phone line is going red. Hmm? I bet it would work if you tried now. I bet you're right. But if he's talking to you, he's outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Yeah, let's go there. <sighs> Time to skedaddle on over there. Hello, Lampy. I've been waiting for you. Hey, well, what are you? A desk lamp. That sounds like an old grandpa? <laughs> yes, just call me Ray. I sound exactly <laughs> like an old grandpa. Man, I mean, grandpa Ray. Little toast. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? <laughs> We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. So I choose to look like a lamp for some reason. <laughs> Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Because he's a ray of light. <laughs> Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. <laughs> it's still, still I heard it on the upper level. A scant that, few minutes from now. That this lamp is like God secretly. <laughs> the hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'm getting away those ghost trick thingies. Glug. I'm uh, very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers! What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. <laughs> but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Anyway, we don't have much time. Shit's going down, man. Come on and hop in! <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, boys. Fate change. Oh, I see. Alright, let me fold this. You open this. No, we don't, actually. Alright, so we're gonna do the fucking flag thing again. Well, we made it! Now let's have a hunt down that horrible hitman. Must be around here somewhere. We're going to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good and make... I'm going to make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? They usually die. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> ah, no, you don't. Hold on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you look. <gasps> Rifleman. I see my target. Time to go to work. 
I'll be the head of the Hitman division by next month for sure. Who's oh, he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tengo. That doesn't matter. Now. Yeah. His name? Oh, yeah. That's Stop Tengo. Shoot it. Fast. One, one step, step ahead, ahead Tengo. Tengo. Mm hmm. I think it's even two steps ahead. Maybe. Well, he, he's he's very good at getting steps ahead of you. <laughs> there, we better stop to that shot at least. We did. It. So I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed well... your fate a little, but it didn't convert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division. Apparently, I doubt blocking a shot here is and there is really going to stop him. If I want to rough him, blah, blah, blah. if I want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put him on my board. Cops. Something else before he gets a shot in. Hmm. Okay, so the bicycle can't go back that way. What if I pedal? Nah, that's not gonna do anything either. Nah, fuck. <laughs> I can't control his bicycle either. I gotta fucking identify where the hell the guy is first, though. Probably not back there. Oh, there he is. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. The vision had is my ambition for this year. Next year, my model will be... If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. It sounds like you won't show up in spots for a lighting. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandal rumors about him. Thank you very much. Well, can the bike do anything? Or the hanging bike? It can just pedal. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's no interaction point there either. Hmm. Oh, the guard! Move! It's got a night nice stick. Damn, if only it was a day stick. There's no way that cop can see that man. <laughs> nope. I guess he was standing in the dark. Oh, look! Look at that! One of the lights went out! There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. That session is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the blood. Pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Did you shoot that flesh and light on me? How about this is technically a different guy? Go ahead, Joshi. Oh. There you go. Oh, wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off of it. Don't want to waste any electricity. If things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting a squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Hold on a second, let me try to turn this light off. And I'm gonna go back down over to this guy. Cause like, yeah, that light's still on, and he's gonna show up over here. So, if I go back up here, turn this one back on. Light on. Turn this off again. He's gonna go back over there, and then I just need to wait for him to come back around. And then I can turn on the light on the police car instead. Time is passing. Oh, it's fucking goob.
I want me or you, where they're all blonde and fucking shit. They have different. They have different shaped eyes. Ah! And I told you it wasn't me. Uh oh! I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know. What? Hey, shut up! You're creeping me out. But you know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is Inspector Cabanella. Uh, <laughs> so the fellow tells about him as though he's a ghost, eh? But Inspector Cabanella is really a very nice person. Yeah, like he's only going to show up here, so I just have to keep like waiting for him to show back up. Is it really just like stopping him from looking? Till death. One. One what? One. There's nowhere for him to go. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait. Buy us a little more time. Doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with evil is to crush it completely. This lady detective is a little, just a little excessive. Uh, after the fate change, I guess. Oh, I think I know what to do. We have to, we have to trap him in that middle one so the crane goes off. I think. That's you know, just hit fun. him with a crane. Yeah. Like me, yeah, see. If I want that position, you're gonna have to gab a lot of ghouls. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh, nothing happens. That's funny. I thought we were swinging the crane arm, crane arm, crane arm around. I like to see that horrible hitman around. Hmm. He's so horrible. That's why we can use it. Hmm. I suppose... Wait, wait, wait. Can you summon the cops there using the flashing light so they have a conversation? Yeah, same thing. Now inst yeah, but now instead go to the other nightstick. Yeah. I was gonna get it over here. Mm, turn off the light there, right? Or... Oh! Oh, I see. I gotta get him over there. Oh, in that case, we just have to turn off this light. Mm -hmm. And turn on the other two. What, what was that about? Anyway. What exactly is a grit? What are all these kids talking about? Hitting the the the, the what you? I believe it is hitting the granny, sir. Thought it was hitting the gritty. I don't Thought actually was... know where the gritty is from. Uh, get it correct. It's hitting the glizzy. No. <laughs> glizzy <laughs> sounds grosser. <laughs> That's a hot. Oh, sounds... wow, why do you hate hot dogs so much? I'm actually not a big fan of hot dogs, if I'm being real. Wow. Damn. The problem is, is that, like, when I usually have hot dogs, they're, like, weirdly, like, 
gross greasy not like like the total brutal like you know what i'm talking about just certain foods are greasy but you feel like it's still good that's true me personally i'm a greasy gulper yeah. this is quite a distance Whatever. from the tag it <laughs> fucking but fucking work in the spotlight after all yeah joshy <laughs> never was... mind a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill was justin not making a dick sucking joke no i mean like i just like eating <laughs> hot dogs man what the fuck oh i i I'm, I'm used to you. Like, we get it, you're a whore. <laughs> Joshi could never glitz that much glizzy. Never glow that much. I don't want glizzy. Why not? You ain't eating? What do you have against the glizzy? Because I prefer women. Wow. Are we, talk are we talking about hot dogs or are we talking about... Dick. Like what are we talking about here? Sapphic so, people hot cannot but like in hot dogs. Situation, I just want a good old-fashioned hot dog. Oh well, in that case, I want a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind getting between those hands either. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, oh no, well now we are talking about sex. It's an Albany expression. Or do you gotta be? Randy, this is a lie you haven't done yet. <laughs> ah, Go ahead, I thought we were- I, I was waiting for someone to say- to, to compare another food to, like, genital, but okay. <laughs> well, outside of that, this girl's kinda cute, not gonna lie, I definitely take her home to meet the parents. Banana. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. You'd gobble the glitches on her head? Okay. Okay, let's <laughs> back up there. Please. Mr. Div Division Head seems like dark- seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. I wouldn't mind him in a glizzy place. Come on, Cecil, get him! Hold up, when did I become her assistant? I would want to be her, Glizzy. Man, this is so easy to turn. What does that imply? <laughs> dead! Hey. He's fucking dead as shit! Whoa, what was that about? Did you hear a scream just now? <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! Nobody said it was. <laughs> there, we found a nice dark spot for- I think your death has just been erased again. I like the idea that every chapter ends with us crushing someone to death. That would be Why pretty not? funny. I wonder. Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? Not special. If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. This sounds like a metaphor for something. It's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. Because you're not fucking dead. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. God. Yeah, we can save my life. Uh... Are you uh -huh. actually doing shots, baby? I did like two. <laughs> oh goodness. Now I'm drinking water. Yeah. Wait, do you do you they work tomorrow? Have to the go do it. Basically, do you work tomorrow? tomorrow? No, I do uh, work, but just like I had to go in and take care of the animals, and then I leave. Yeah, just when you goodness. say that, but I worked at Walmart, and they're like, "Get your ass in. We need you. It's the busiest day ever." Work, work a it's a Walmart. Shit job. <laughs> it's that's your fault for working in the service industry. And that's the only job I could get when I was like fucking twenty. That's your fault for society! <laughs> Not my fault society di dictates that I have 15 million experience and everything oh, else. Oh, you should have you should have even the society fault that I'm like that. years of experience, like how everyone I... else. How am I gonna get that experience if everything is like you need experience? That's the truth. Just lie. Don't oh, do that. Okay. They'll probably find out. Oh. Uh... So, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you nap as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? I'm dead. Oh, don't worry. I'm possessing your body right after this. <laughs> <laughs> you ever want to see me again? All you have to God, do is I... die. God, I hope so. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, I guess we better get be getting back to the present. Whoa! <laughs> the dark hour. Dark hour, dark hour, dark hour. Linda's escaped death for a second time. Doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. 
Man, I'd want to be in the water with her. Okay, enough that. Uh, Aaron, um, she's just fucking bad. I promise I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop being, being a wooga to this fictional me. woman. I, I was gonna say a wooga. Like, don't get me wrong, I fucking- I love, uh, upwards ponytails, too, but that's a bit much. Nah! I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Not- Maybe not in like the universe where this guy has this fucking weird banana hair. He's got that Johnny Bravo, do. Whoa, pretty mama. You see, you should've given him that voice. Nah. Yeah, you see. Well! Exactly. It looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't the forget woman. that. Lynn, huh? Now, if she's alive, again, she'll probably still be contained in the Super's office. She'll be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to the Super's office and see her. Yeah, and perform a that ghost sounds trick. sounds like a good idea. Time for you to die. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, girl, let me all ghost trip uh, up in you. <laughs> up in here, up in here. I, I just see Chicken Kitchen, it just makes me think of Eric Andre's rap about kissing men in the kitchen. I just... <laughs> I, I think about familiar. fucking... I think about chicken I dinner. Know. I don't know if Andre had any raps. Oh, like fucking... a, I believe he brought he he drops it on Jack Black freestyling. Him. Like uh, like you uh... win you win a battle royale and it's like chicken dinner and I'm like this this doesn't this isn't as satisfying as an actual chicken dinner. Yeah, like I'm more or less I wish this was a chicken dinner. Man, chicken sandwiches sound really fucking good right now. Eight thirty four p.m. But I already ate dinner and I'm too full. When she lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit their fate, or they can try to change it. Heaven or hell. <laughs> Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyards and superintendent's office, the fact was, re was really brought home to me. She's fucking dead again. <laughs> no, but she's too pretty. Don't die. Oh, she fucking did. Oh, you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apologies, sir. I never th thought she would run away. Lin you changed this guy's voice in every single scene he was in. Don't worry about it. I'm Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. She's an actor. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family. They all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? <laughs> wow, damn, bro. You you want to talk about that? I'm very sorry. I have no idea, It sounds sir. like he doesn't. Hmm. You'll never make detective at that rate. Be Damn. married. Find Lynn. Yes, sir! If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. Detective escape, did she? I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Whew, she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. Tricking time. Green man! That old pigeon man. You suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? A little like precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped. Through here! She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool! Hmm. Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Bro! I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. How many my drink every time there's a my wife joke? <laughs> my wife. You'll never make detective of this right. You'll never make a good detective. You have to be divorced slash cheated on. And you know, where's that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir. He went to the he went through the door behind me, sir. Do you love your wife or something? You'll never make detective of that, right? 
You gotta fucking hate your wife. The wife is awful here. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is awful here. The door leads yeah, to the basement, I... but it's currently locked, sir. It's What's fine. I don't need a Wi-Fi. I don't need a Wi-Fi. I said I already have a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi hate. <laughs> <laughs> Got <him. laughs> These instruments are all very suspicious. You better keep an eye on your singer. Yes, sir. I'm the ghost trick all up in your guts. I don't want a ghost trick yeah, in your guts. Right, What's must... the deal with that old pigeon man? God, I love pigeon. <laughs> hey, wait, He's so notebook. old and pigeonated. Why does that book sad and forgotten? It sits behind the bookshelves. What could she have been calling on the phone before she hit it there? I wish I could find out. You know, I'd really like to see her number, if you know what I mean. Her. Uh, like her phone number. We'll let close the uh, Appearance here, of all places, tonight, of all times. I hardly think it's coincidence. Like Don't you want to bet that the blue coroner has something to do with the weird blue assassin group? Hmm. Watch him Sir, be completely he's like, related. You know, blue and shit. Something old man? Other than just like sit there and <laughs> Holy shit. in the man. corner for a while. Holy shit, break, br breaking news. I'm sorry. Black Battler anime is in production and scheduled for 2024. Wait, Battler? <laughs> Black <laughs> Battler. Oh! I'm, I'm way less interested now. About Holy what? Shit. <laughs> about the Black Butler. Battling, ba <laughs> battling Butler. I feel it's like it ended do. pretty definitively. This is a pretty complicated matter. Apparently, not that definitively. <laughs> they did do. They did do the circus season after the ending. I guess to be fair. <laughs> what do you got there? What this? Oh, uh, this is a. Uh... Wait a minute. Is that? Yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at a notebook and making a phone call. Yoink. <sighs> oh, this must be it. The telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am! I really am, sir! I'd like to know! Oh! But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir! No, sir! I do. So I have an important lead. I better check it out. Let me just call this number at fucking random. <laughs> it's number every number. Let's call every number sequentially until you get the right one. Hell That's yeah. right. It's the chicken kitchen. That's what Papyrus did. What are you too hello, good to be with Papyrus? Did? That's the wrong one. Uh, hello. To whom am I speaking, please? Uh, another big burly man. Yes. Kinda. Hello. He's not really that big and burly. He's just so cute, just looking this. Look at, look, at his, look at Look at how he's fucking sitting though. And yeah, look at his uh, posture. Ch ch yeah. Forward? I thought this was a girl. I do not think. Yeah, I do not believe this. Back. I very much. This man does not sound burly. I assure you. <laughs> this is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Well, is that, uh, Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Noir, <laughs> I assure you that is not how this man talks, okay? <laughs> if you want me to give it a shot? Sound sure, go ahead. Sure, Just go ahead. We talk now. <laughs> you want me to give it a shot? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm Lynn. Yes, I did. She called calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. There's something wrong. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> you might be contacting you again if you have any questions. 
Do you think that was more on spot or no? I would say it sounds like... I would say it sounds... Uh, stiff, gay, and slightly scared. Okay, because I was... I, part of me is like, okay, I'm gonna... I'll probably voice this guy as gay, but I... Mm, maybe I should hold back. <laughs> and then it's like you said, and I go, okay, well, maybe he'll... Maybe I shouldn't do a stereotypical hey, boys. gay <laughs> voice. <laughs> Oh, he wanted to give it to Lynn. <laughs> how, do, how do I sound more gay? <laughs> <laughs> Just give it your best shot and I'm sure it'll be good enough. I don't I don't know if I want to try that. I'm sure it will come to you naturally, don't worry. What do you mean? <laughs> that is an ulterior motive of something. I know. Uh, know what you're talking about. Rindy, you will I always ul- find a way. I have an ulterior game. motive for this game to sound good. I mean, here this guy's like a stoner. This, this guy's like a stoner. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. What was that call about? Oh, okay. There you go. Go ahead, Nor. I heard you say Lynn. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I would probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> The only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Oh no, he's a himbo. (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit! Very heterosexual. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. (laughs) That was my way of expressing indignation. Indignation, yeah. Indignation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Putting it in the form of a question. <laughs> <laughs> Got like this gay little sit. <laughs> I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. Put it to my log. Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. Yeah, so let's see. This is the place that Lynn took all that risk to call, huh? What exactly is this place? My man is just throwing it back. Whoa. He's Whoa. definitely <laughs> winning the, the ghost <laughs> trick Damn. for golf. Oh my god. Damn! Wait, what happened? The rooms in the are really small and you can see right into them from the outside. So the open bars keep the rooms airy. But I wouldn't want to live in one myself. These little rooms are. He doesn't know what the fuck a jail cell is shit. <laughs> Let loose the memo. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote that down on my duties for the night. So I wanted to forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. <laughs> what are you talking about? What you the one who said nothing was going on inside of my brain? Hmm, didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock, take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use a phone a little while ago. Nine, eh? That's when Lynn usually comes. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ah, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. I want to comfort her too. Ah, shit. What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo! That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Oh, well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know? Just make sure you do your job when the time comes! Man, one of these cops is gonna fuck this up. <laughs> Place your bet, ladies and gentlemen. 
Hello? Ooh, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. Oh, I'm sorry, Detective, I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved, and that's why. Oh. Oh, by the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. Man, I'd let her talk to anyone if uh, that was me, you know? Yo, it's Monster Hunter Rise! <laughs> Boy! Well, I guess I'd better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. Then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well... Yes. What? Cops. Tonight is a kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lin too? Bless I. Less I. Special case, huh? All right, you win. Man, I should have voiced the pothead. That fits me perfectly. Damn. <laughs> then I would have been able to set my limb. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have known this character for five, like a half hour. I'm not sure you even know this guy's name yet. Well, no, the, the girl. Lynn. That's true, her name is Lynn. We've only known her for an hour and already she's in the Pantheon. <laughs> the Pantheon? <laughs> she a fucking, she a fucking Olympus level deity? She's already yeah, in dead! My in my heart, yes! No! <laughs> See, now, she, now she ascended, now she can be in the Pantheon. Why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer! It should have been me! It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Hey, excuse me, mister. You're talking to me? This room? There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... Was it one so of those it's a closed room! <laughs> Locked room murder cases on our hands! One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into the air in a vacuum! Just go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir! <laughs> uh, what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murderer. Things never get dull for our redhead. I have a certain inspector who might dance around the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. It's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. You see, like... 
Like if, if I found. Oh, hi. Yeah. I died again. <laughs> I thought you'd be a little. I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's kind of what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. Guess I'll have to find go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Are we along now? I got the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, it looks like it's time to go back. Back to the four months before your death. I locked this room up in darkness. I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that time wasn't right. But the time wasn't right. Present. Sure. Oh my god, a fucking Rube Goldberg machine went off! That to be fair, this entire this is sort of what this entire game is. <laughs> oh my god. She just stood there and let it happen. Why was the gun it was on the wall very loaded? It's funny. It's also security. Just in case. Security. It's That's called Chekhov's <laughs> gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. It was just in case, okay? Jeez. That's the truth behind her locked room murder! So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine! Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? A little pigeon guy must have made it, but why? Look at the meaning behind this weird room, B. Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fight is zero, it's all over. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I've only known Lynn for an hour or so, and already... Marriage proposal. We know, you wanna dick her down... I said marriage proposal, you no, fucking pervert! No, you're a whore. <laughs> we did it. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, no, you see a whore gets paid. That's a very big difference. It is, yeah. Ah, shit. Joshi, would you marry Lin if there is no sex involved? Absolutely none. Not allowed. Sure. She's funny. Yeah? Yeah, she's <laughs> funny. Hmm. I mean, I'd prefer if there was sex involved, but like, <laughs> nope. you know, it doesn't matter. Nope, not, not an inch. No, no. Not an inch of sex, that's fine. Oh, this is the superintendent? I'm so glad, I thought I was all alone. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any reason to go up there.
No, wait a second, there is totally a reason to go up there. Shit. Okay, so I have to make sure to do it beforehand. Hold up a second, let me rewind, actually. I think I know what to do now. Because I can't directly access the room in the murder machine. From where from where the thing is currently positioned, so I have to wait for him to talk to her again. We have to wait for the fucking phone call to go off. really weird about like how mechanically she gets back into that fucking elevator. It's like she's used to it. What a dreadful noise. <laughs> Lynn ran away. The detective yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles! That's got it for you. We were just trying to warn you with a kettle whistle. Would you prefer getting scalded by the steam? Mrs. Fabe has changed a bit. That's good anyway. Can't let Lynn die. It's gonna be really sad if she something happened to her. Bro, I'm working on it. <laughs> I can't believe that you're letting all this happen to her on purpose. Wow. It makes me sad, honestly. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I know this guy. There will spin and moves down the pole. Look, there's a thread attached to it. The clock is tied to the frame. The gun is in. Seems to be our, to be connected to our friend Fiery Mr. Cupid as well. The toy seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism. But an airship is surprisingly powerful. You can't stop it once it's set in motion. It's not set in motion yet. Ball. That's right. Oh, I didn't make the fucking ball move. Oh, shit. Alright, back it up. Back it in. And let us begin. No, it's like Glover all over again. Oh, I have to time it just right, I see. Oh. 
Do you ever like freak out when you feel like you have something crawling on your leg? Yes. Uh, and I had that I happen mean, to me yes, just now. Because things aren't supposed to crawl on your leg. Well, it felt <laughs> like you don't know if there was. Well, yeah. Well, that's a very salient difference, is what I'm saying. Shit. Wait, you can hit the ball with the with the shovel. Yeah, I know. I just I got. I have to have that I thing open so that way the the, the ball. Are you like sure? Are you sure? Are you sure it, can, it needs to be a ramp and you're not supposed to like hit it upwards? I'm, I don't know, honestly. I suppose, I mean, that's a good point, yeah. Let me try that first. Have you tried, like, throwing it back? That's the plan. Time till death. Two minutes. Wow, they just, just no connection. Wow. I probably have to just wait until it's on the ground first. I don't think they have physics in this game. Tragic. But it's Maybe you can handle it. And now the rat, the rat puzzle is pretty open ended in that regard. You solved my rat puzzle. <laughs> Ah, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no. What's my prize for solving the rat puzzle? <laughs> the gift is more rats. Whoa! Oh. That's the one thing I was wanting. I forget, what was the rat-based contraption that I gave you in D&D, &D, that, that you bought in D&D? &D? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hat that can summon rats. Oh, yeah, I can get up to hat. three rats a day. But they're, they're not rats. Hats. The rats aren't on my side, they're just rats. And more often than not, I have an odd feeling that it will involve throwing. Okay, no, you don't need to have it up. Hey, that's very good just now. Um, how many rats a day can you summon again? Three? Uh, three a day. Okay. So we can't just turn the hat upside down and I dump a bunch of rats I down a hole. Create, I cannot dump comical amounts of rats out. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. If only there was some way to get that ball to Mr. Cupid. <laughs> you know, something that something you hear in this uh, detective murder mystery mm -hmm. about ghosts. To be fair, this is actually pretty par for the course for like Ace Attorney and all that business. Very true. You had to ask him eight times about his very large painting and why it isn't in his house anymore. You wouldn't believe. It moves too far away before you can fucking do anything! Does the cake do something? The no. cake is how you get to the ramp. Yep. Okay, it's just... That sure was a video Maybe game ass can... sentence he just said. Can you put the green... Can you put the ramp up before the fate change? Huh? I don't can you put so. the ramp at the start? No, like, I couldn't even get to the ramp prior. Hmm. Everything needs to be done before the fate change. After the thing. There we go. I don't open it too early. Don't open it. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this first. I'm not even sure what the fuck it does. I just want to be safe. Did it. Omg, hi, you Did it. What just happened? Like the Rube Goldberg machine had a Rube Goldberg answer. It's like your future just got a hold. It showed. Your death has been erased. Again. Anything with Rosie. Hey. Uh, thank you. Anything Who was with Rube Rosie Goldberg? And why were his machines so silly? Is 
He said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making, remember making me any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. Hmm. What could Throne be all about? <laughs> I can't imagine. The thing that went off at the end. Those are party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have, no, I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers? The gun going off? Seems familiar somehow. Leave the part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we get back now? Back to your new present. See, the present is a gift. Damn, she caught it. Oh, damn. Hey, so, are you there? Lynn is talking to me? Is she pulling a ghost trick? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there... I guess I'm just a weird girl who ducks herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether or not you talk to yourself. You are here! I knew it! I just had this feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that the ghost doesn't have feet, beat. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, the tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. Something particular you want to say to me? Hmm. I just thought I'd search him. I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. Murder case? By yourself? Yes. Well, it's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. Because I think that person's innocent. That's why. There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. I'm fucking dead! <laughs> but is anything else you want to know? I'll try to answer what I can. Jeez, Lynn's so quirky. You love her. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to know ask her a few things. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid... My memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight. And then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot... Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit? I'm sorry. I wish it could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, huh? I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information? I wonder what, what info I have for you. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Amelia? What do you know about her? There was a tiny incident to your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks for a loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing her back to life. Oh my. What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? They're being targeted by a certain organization. What? The Bluminati. <laughs> I saw them. That's their name? No, oh, just, they're, they're, they're all blue. They're, <laughs> they're, they're not blue. Illuminati, but they are the... I call them... I, don't, I, call, call, I personally prefer the name uh, Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> the blue what, where's the, the onion guy? coming from? Because <laughs> oh, they're stinky. Yeah. <laughs> I saw them. They're they got blue. layers, Sim. They got layers. Layers. Onions have layers. I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? The blooming onion in your fridge went rancid. I had to throw it out. No! <laughs> it does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? No. Uh huh? You know what they say. When it rains, it pours. I mean, you admit you need me. Need my powers. 
Mm, I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. I'm a but... fucking ghost! <laughs> yes, you saved my life tonight. Why? Three times, actually. Oh, sorry. Three times I'm a lady. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. You're a fucking ghost. That's... Fucking, Why? Fucking, the fucking cop. Who, who am I gonna tell? I'm a ghost. So I had some gonna tell the fucking ghost media? <laughs> so I had some important information you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me I had an important lead on the case I was working on. Oh, this, lead. Is, a, oh, this is a bootstrap hmm? paradox? I wonder. <laughs> That would mean time travel would need to be involved at some point. There's already time beyond travel! The, yeah, but beyond the four minutes. I mean, well, like, if somebody died within the last 24 hours and then I time travel back to four minutes before they died, I could hypothetically do that. Just, oh, boy! There was a chain murder here. A person died every 24 hours. This is mean. just, like... For who knows how long. Importantly, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly. Tonight at the junkyard. You fell for it? You didn't give it how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. <laughs> but I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. It's because I'm running out of time. <laughs> you and me both, sister. <laughs> hey, that's right. He said something was something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. I'm a ghost! Oh boy, but I guess I understand. What if you're the ghost of the culprit? <laughs> so what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah. What was it? The... Chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Cecil? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You can really lead if you leave. Probably just follow you. I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're not in a boat, this is a room. <laughs> this ain't no boat, this is a bathtub, lady. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. You're on. I'm gonna get into so many dangerous situations, you have no idea. But can I ask you to do me a favor first? I need to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? It's the place I was calling to in the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. Check out certain That's usually how it goes. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. I was just gonna like fucking walk down the hole and die instantly. <laughs> okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can help it. It's <laughs> every time go. like Let this game breaks my sense of space every time because everything is somehow right next to each other. Mm -hmm. uh... This guy holds the key, but the case Lynn was investigating, and she holds the key. And she holds the key solving the mystery of me. So we're started up a strange relationship of cooperation. No, it should have been me. Damn it! You want to be dead? You want to work with the cops? Lynn gave me an I want to work with Lynn. 
I'd ask you to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prison number D99. I'd better go to the prison. No! It other reminds me, I fucking... I see. I swear to you, you can just Google this image if you want to jerk off that's this badly. <laughs> why do you always have to go to jerk him off? I don't know, why do you always sound like you go to that? Yeah. <laughs> Every time you see Lynn! Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. There's detective assignment. Detective assignment? The detective assigned the, de the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't even have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about that uh, at the moment. A virtual boy mode. It does look like a virtual boy. <laughs> no time! <laughs> Gotta go visit the gay cop again. They should, they should, they should make a sitcom about these two. The gay cop and stoner cop. <laughs> so how are the preparations coming along? I think I'm taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me, coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch. Two more hours, then it's time. I guess I should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. This dude's fucking breasting boobily everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> The atmosphere here sure, sure seems tense. Guess I'll just go back to my work as well. I want you to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. Happy to have I should go investigate these cells first. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> Emergency switch. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection prisoner C-74. It's almost time for that. I'd better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case. Metro who what? Met Metro C-74 barricaded himself into the poli Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Yeah, that sounds sick. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, he they asked. And? I looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? 
Maybe they did, but they aren't, haven't released anything yet. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secu secrecy. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? I'm gonna throw it back we now. Sure did. Holy shit, this is a fucking. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there you go again, pulling around with that thing! <laughs> He's like a meerkat. <laughs> it wasn't me. Don't lie. You know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergencies! Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got them. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always uh, react exactly the same way. Oh, good job. You're sa saving your budget. <laughs> <laughs> the emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I've fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies! Don't play with it! Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up! It's making me feel on edge! Nah, too much of pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad state of affairs! Cops. <laughs> Even cops are these just prison guards? I think they're just guards. It's, 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 it's related. A lot of places have to be connected. Yo, shoot off the rocket launcher. <laughs> it's actually worse if they are like cops. Because then it means that it's just a private prison. Are prison guards and regular pr like state prisons police officers? I mean, like generally <laughs> similar. <laughs> Just the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. Well, I told you, it's only for emergencies! Don't play with it! And I told you it was me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job. Going on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you'd better know! And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So the thing is, this is from the guy who made the Ace Attorney series, so I'm not sure if this is like homophobic or not. Whoops. <laughs> They're just a wacky couple. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Are you saying these two are in a relationship? They should be. <laughs> oh, there's night vision goggles. So should I just like wait for the fucking? Dude, the really just just right fire now. this bazooka indoors. See what happens. You can also go to the phone, I guess. I am, I suppose. And let the memo loose, maybe. Yeah, but that only re the only thing that really accomplished. Oh, actually, wait, sorry. I probably need to, like instructions on like what the fuck to do. Hold on. You haven't looked at the second monitor. You can with the memo. Oh yeah, you're right. Here, I'll just do that right now. Cannot move oh. while this thing is going off. That is... Mm. Hey, Bailey. Yeah, oh, damn. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room? Yes, he made just the request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C-38, <laughs> eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story. About the secret rendezvous. Rendezvous, rendezvous right? Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Who was? Rendezvous. Oh. A rendezvous? C-38. Was a singer in a band. His group was playing on a concert. Whoopsies! 
This group is playing on a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge mistake. Are you okay, Joshi? Why do you say that? Because you sound like you're about to pass out. A huge mistake? What was it? A murder or something? Some kind of incident? In a way, it was even worse than a murder. It was an attack by the noise. Because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were uh, doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? Or a mistake of any kind? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriation, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. A hero. Yo. He was caught red-headed in the act of leaking na national secrets. No, it's Edward Snowden. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hemph. Hemph, oh, indeed. Oh! Would you quit throwing my boots of duty members away? I'm, I'm, uh, Rindy, the reason why it sounds uh, very, very much like I'm running out of air is because I am using a lot of air for this guy. Because I'm yeah. trying not to just make him sound like a, 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 a bad interpretation of a man who's gay. And so I asked, I was worried. <laughs> well, thank you for warning. <laughs> it was a matter of national secrecy. You wouldn't believe oh. it. Three of them. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. Oh, here we go. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chef is preparing it for him right away, right now. Is that the chief? Oh, no, no, that's a chef. Eee. chef. Ooh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? <laughs> Such a sad case. Oh, at first, too. Dog. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. <sighs> it's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything, uh, all a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that in the first place. I don't know the details, but uh, apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. I don't get it. <laughs> You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. Oh, it is a private prison. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that red of his. Beard. <laughs> Beard. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I was gonna say I was gonna say Beard, but I went no, that seems wrong. <laughs> I don't like it. Like bread? Yeah, he said bread. 
I I meant I, I was mean, going to initially. So okay, I I pa I paused there, but I I was going in. The reason why I paused was because I was thinking it over, and I was going to say beard, but I went with bread instead. I don't <laughs> like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. Gotta get those bread games. The prisoner I'm, the prisoner I'm looking for, Dean Young, is convicted of murder, huh? And he apparently has a beard. And I, want, I wanted him to have. Yo, we gotta get that bread game. But you can throw it away by the property. It was a matter of national secrecy. Another one. <laughs> Another one. It's time. It's time. To duel. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, I wish I see uh, what, here. They let him have his guitar. Oh, this prisoner 99. Fuck it, fuck it, I'll do this one. There you go. <laughs> hmm? Oh, the wine glass. Yeah. There, it's done! Uh, there was a con there's conversation to be heard. I'm guessing yeah, the kid they were talking. That's the kid they were talking about. The one who sang the national sang the national secrets. <laughs> He's a prisoner. He must have come from the cells. Oh, I see. A second ago, I guess it's, it's a way for that the spiky haired youth to, youth to express himself. Sentiments like "I'm hungry" or "I'm thirsty," maybe something primitive like that. I bet. Question is, if we hear this guy talk, should I make him nasally? Oh, I'm done. Very nice of them to let him keep his hair like that in prison. All right, C38, back to your cell. Hey, God, man! How about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man! A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go! Yo! No lectures, man! I walk my own path, my own way, my own music. Usually an electric guitar needs to be plugged into an amp. I don't know if I should make this guy nicely or not. Like, should I make him sound like this? You mean he just sounds like that whenever he's talking to cops? So I finally made it to the cells. I'm gonna find Prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could live possibly about... with that information, anyway? Enough about Prisoner D99. What about Prisoner D69, am I right? I was gonna say Prisoner D's nuts, but okay. <laughs> Sex. Damn! I don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit! Looks like the guard man's gone. All this waiting is wiping me out! Hope this is the final. this one will finally do. Go, go, go! go! I'M UNSUSSITED! <laughs> what the fuck? Let's see what I have to do. I have to make sure that he hits the right note. I'd like to thank Joshi for doing the voices that he's doing, because it does wake me up when I get tired. <laughs> oh no. Is that bad? I figured. I figured. No, no, no it's good. Blackboards Len mentioned. Let's give it a little read. Tonight. Lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. A certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! 
What? <laughs> I can't see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I've absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't pre read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? I don't believe in conformity. I don't believe in consistency either. It's a pad of note paper hanging on the wall. I don't respect them, they're robots, Morty. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't really re recall what it means. This telephone. Looks like, it looks, like, looks like it's an internal line. Only. It doesn't call outside the prison. The only place I can go with the telephone are other phones in the building that I've already possessed. Oh, it's a checkpoint. <laughs> hmm, an emergency button. Emergency in a prison. It's gotta be a pretty bad situation. Just give it a little try. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Go, go, go! I think we're probably gonna. You, I mean, probably gotta follow those guys. Fortunately, I don't have know much of a method of being able to follow them. Mysterious. I'm gonna the guard room. Maybe if you turn the alarm off, he'll walk back. I have no option to turn the, to alarm, the alarm off right now. I like I like it. Let me hit this button so it can go off. Yo, oh, I thought those were through. Oh, Jake there's from sausage. Oh. <laughs> Bob Ross. So who's the fourth one? The mysterious. Oh, no, there's no one in that one. Oh, clear. Took him that long to inspect four cells? Wow. Mm. There we go. Go, go, go! Guy. I don't like this guy. Uh, this man is giggling in, in a way that I find a fuck. You know, okay, Nor um... Norsim doesn't need to take this guy. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just not a fan of him. <laughs> you know, I think this is like the one character that we can leave. He with seems voice. irritating. <laughs> <laughs> can we get Microsoft Sam? <laughs> well, we're, we're, not, we're not high priced actors. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it's a okay. Secret. Updated the phone book. Do you not want to hear what Cecil thinks about this man? No! I don't want to know anything <laughs> about this guy. <laughs> Do you not understand? What if you react the same way? You don't know. I still can't read. I never learned how to read! But I better go check I out Prisoner. I still learned how to read! <laughs> I, I never learned how to read! Besides, see what that prisoner Lynn was best game looks like. <laughs> Lynn, I called back. It turns out I'm illiterate. I have been for as long as I know. And that's not far. Why did he come back to life and he still can't read? I mean, he didn't forget how to read, he just never knew. I was gonna say. Like, dying didn't make him illiterate, he was just illiterate to begin with. <laughs> oh, he's digging a tunnel because he's a gourmand. So he has a spoon. See, no. It's if there's one thing you can say, you can't say about sausages, is that he's not talented. He's got drive. And he's good at climbing into holes. He's got oh, determination. He's got strength, energy, strategy. Girth. He and you know he does have girth. I mean that that's something. 
Okay, can you like, he's like under there. Can you follow him? Perchance, let me ring the bell again. It's got like an IV machine. I'm so glad this guy doesn't fucking talk. Preferable. So just like it's gross. Oh, at the time it's so like for when he grabs the spoon. There we go. He has a spoon now. You just went inside of the really... room, Justin. How do you feel? You just really just need to lick it every time. You shove it's it in his mouth. Clean. Oh, well, yeah, he has to lick it so there's no well, there you so go. There's just no, uh, that residue. Oh. That he... oh, no. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Now what? You're stuck here with him. <laughs> no, no, he's dead now. Thank God. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, and we're gone. We don't even need to go near him. Oh, Problem God. solved. What about Bob Ross, though? I'm sure they'll let us tell Same something about him. This is just an internal phone, too. Doesn't call outside. At least I can go with the telephone or other phones in the building that I've already possessed. Let's fuck with the power supply of this prison. Great idea. Is this on and I can't tear it off because there's no need to fool around with it. This is a boss from Kirby. This is a Damn, I can't Charlie believe that lever threw it back! Is everything all set? They said they're just still getting ready! We haven't had one of these things in a long time! Yeah, they said they had to clear away the dust and do some maintenance! Hey, what do you think about it? I don't think we should talk about it now! I just hope nothing goes wrong! Thanks for that TikTok. Man, I should. Guards. I thought I, I was doing fucking great Sam in there. Yeah, Sam, that's also what I've been trying to do. Oh, TikTok with the fucking dude from uh, Return to Wonderland and all that fun business. Yep, that one. Like Pretend I know what the fuck you're talking about. Isn't that about TikTok? Oh, he doesn't sound like you, that. You, you, no, I was talking about like how the people from TikTok talk. Oh. <laughs> TikTok talk, you know. It's it's their life. Don't you forget. Baby, baby drunk is manipulating the power supply using a ghost tree. <laughs> Go ghost sausage. Tricky. You want to press another button? Oh, sausage is in the tunnel. They're gonna see. Well, th that might mean that they might d destroy him faster. We might have to deal with him for even less time. <laughs> oh, is there anything up here? Or down here? I mean, probably. No, emergency will make people go check up on the prisoners, no? Would it not? Quick, use the spoon and then have the person, like, jab it into their fucking head and kill them instantly. Oh, it undid the alarm. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, this is very twerkable. Idea. Yeah? Yeah, I can throw it back to this. Her. <laughs> Sometimes Joshi just likes throwing it back. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not gonna lie, my butt feels like it's been getting big ever since the con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did two days. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of walking. My butt's kind of sore, but it feels like bigger now. My, my goodness. <laughs> Yo, am I getting a dumpy now? Holy shit! I don't, I don't think you can dumpy like that. Uh, that's, a, that's up to you. Not, not from three days of walking, relatively more intensely. I'm trying to start jogging normal. more then, so I can keep it up. There's like certain things you, you can do to get a bigger ass if you really want it. It's oh yeah, you can absolutely work out, yeah. Oh, work so out I, think the, I think the big crazy bulbs on this uh, dynamo here probably have something to do. And the problem is I can't reach it. At, at any... Oh, does the power no, distributor no. do anything? 
I mean, have you checked what's going on in the cells when there's an emergency? Trick time. Like you can you can go inside like the you can go inside the guy's cell. Like, what happens if you trigger the alarm and then go into a cell? Oh, yeah, good point. Let's try that. Oh, what's going on here he's now? Gonna the, he's gonna do the, the X symbol, that's right. Go, go, go! So, all we need to do is send him a circle, and then he'll get the message and get caught somehow. Which will somehow benefit us. God, please, I don't want to look at sausage head. <laughs> I think the grossest part is his head wiggles. Mm -hmm. It has jiggle physics. I think You're that's the worst part. Baby man. Little baby man. He's a little bit of a baby man. What the fuck what is, is he doing? That? What is that for? Did the prison uh, make him into a sausage man? I guess. I can't I believe. Forget, I can't I believe his... they've torn. They've done this to this person. I forget. Is Sausage Head the one who like one of the one of the curry? It could have been. Yeah. This might just be a furious curry what? man. Can you get to, like, his device on the other side? Mm -hmm. I think, to be fair, I think this time I just need to make sure that I, like, stay on the spoon, because then I can, I can jump from the bunk. Eat it. Because, like, he's gonna be, he's gonna, like, see the thing and there's not gonna be any kind of, like, alarm there. He'll like, yeah, what the fuck is up? And it'll probably just, like, go back to normal. I'll be right back momentarily. Same thing Holy shit, we're about to get to the Bob Ross guy. Fuck. Oh, this this is an internal phone. phone. Call outside. The only place I can go with the telephone are other phones that are in the building that I've already possessed. Right, here's Beardo. Hmm. Hmm. What a strange cell. The prisoner inside, he seems to be enjoying himself. He looks like the king of Hyrule. This is the last cell in my this area. This means that this must, this, this, the man humming to himself will see prisoner DND9, according to what the guard said. Ah, his wife, it was fucked up. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the, the answer, and I guess there's no need for me to know. It's for fucking dad. I have only one objective. To find out what the painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Is it Lin? I, I can't make out what the fuck it's like. Press Y. G Lin! Press Thank you. One of those are his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. The face has even blotted out with black paint. They do it about uh, hatred or some other emotion? <laughs> Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. These paper articles have been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. Probably about the Indian's case. Man murders wife or something like that. The picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, alright. So the work schedule for tomorrow for a prisoner of the 99. Information Lynn's looking for to be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh, look at this man. There's nothing written on the board at all! Someone was written on the blackboard to the other prisoners, but this board is clean and blank as the day it was hung there. So I have the answers Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner day D99 is nothing. 
Ah, uh, that's why she has to solve it. He's gonna fucking die. Does information mean anything there? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Tricking. Doesn't matter any to me. Hmm. Ooh, be damn. Got me. Three ninety nine dinner. I wonder what's for dinner. It's a chicken dinner. What a feast tonight! I see. Ah, uh, I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad. It's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked. Judging from the way it tastes. Feels. D ninety nine. I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? Hmm, I agree. It's a pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everyone. Myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before you. it gets too cold to cut. Is that all he's doing? Just painting green? <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is that man in the painting? It's George. Oh, this. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the, f the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. <gasps> it's me! <laughs> <laughs> now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat peace. Okay, sure. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> Defeated the Unitarian Steam. What the fuck? <laughs> it's the oh, sprite yeah, of my face yeah, right yeah. now! <laughs> this guy looks nothing like me! <laughs> what in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lin is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell! I have to go see Lin. Fast! And not for her sake, but for mine. To solve this mystery of me. This mystery, you could say. <laughs> mystery. No, look at him eat the chicken. Right, look fine. at him. Look at him. He's eating the chicken. I mean, the chicken. All right, I'll look at the, I'll look at the chicken. He's eating it real good. I mean, this really cute chicken. Let him eat. It's already cold. Let him happy. go. What in? What... Will, will it run out eventually if I just keep watching him eat the chicken? What it... <laughs> Oh, I'm so with the Chad, look at him. As well. Yo, That's he's really but, good at it. By the way, it is super dangerous to eat something with like a knife like that. I don't think he's that worried about that right now. Probably because he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You see, it's secretly a poison chicken. Wouldn't chick. this be like kind of a timer though for us? That's fine, just let me You only have a deal tomorrow, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I know this kind of like just means that like no time is actually passing and the time is taking. We're bringing you an chicken. extra chicken. <laughs> um, I think I think we've hit. The How point. about another chicken? As you seem to finish your chicken. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna run out of chicken anytime soon. <laughs> I think this man's got unlimited chicken. <laughs> this man is very well fed. <laughs> unlimited chicken works. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Much chicken is God's little happy accident. Both this guy and sausage head. This is headquarters. Actually, does someone else want to do this? He's a, he's a Professor Layton character. This is headquarters. I did. What's the over there? Oh, Chief, it's you! They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak with you. Evening, Cabanelli here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanelli. Fine, sir. You got a little call tonight, didn't you? 
from my baby. Um, Lynn? Uh, well, yes! Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. Uh, see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir! You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir! I'll call you right away, sir! Immediately! Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir! Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. <coughs> I didn't want to see you, sir! Little He's like boy, old John Travolta. <laughs> Let's see, so I think that she's going to the chicken, going to the chicken place. To the chicken kitchen. <laughs> chicken did dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The chicken kitchen. This is where the little lady and Lynn is supposed to meet, but they ain't fucking here. I don't see either one of them here. Because they haven't shut up yet. Aww. How are you, it, it is crazy how we cannot ring a bell. No, the, 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 the bell was ringing, yeah. Okay. It, it's, in that case, it's bad to see that the service is that bad at the chicken kitchen. What the fuck? Who's ringing a bell at the chicken kitchen? He is not wearing fucking shoes. Wait, who's nope. not wearing shoes? The fucking lead guy ain't wearing shoes. Mm -hmm. The guy with the clockwork orange face. Mm -hmm. Preparation to be going smoothly over at the prison. Hey, Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> we were just a little too late. So close, hey, Inspector. Here's a little time left, Chief. Not much, but so. Still had point X rounded on that. If he shows up, we nab him. We can still make it. By the way, let's go to the other case. The junkyard. Room. She did it, eh? No question about it. She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? We're talking about the culprit who killed me. Or he's no lying. I did it a fawn book. Yeah, no, he ain't wearing his fucking shoes right now. Bro, what the fuck? I don't know what that's supposed to imply about him. Gross. This I think he's supposed to look like a monkey. I think he's supposed to be a monkey. Yeah, he's a monkey he's man. One those, he's one of those people who take their shoes off at, in the office. I don't know what that means. You mean them do that? I feel like that's against that. that. People 100% do that. I don't think you I don't should, know what though. the stigma associated with someone who does this is. Other than nasty. I guess that they are a primate. <laughs> Judging by the indication of this video game. Panels of discussion. I just don't believe it. Why would you a thing like that? Fred, I don't have any answers for you, Chiefy. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet. After seeing this, maybe we don't have really any choice but to believe you, baby. The security camera tape, the investigation was just delivered. I can't deny it. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Ow! <laughs> Nothing like it, baby. Alright, let's see the so called evidence. Hmm. <laughs> Why a murder case now on such an important night? I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now for that very reason that that it is such an important night.
Junk Ripper and I in a security camera to capture the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest thing imaginable. Why ass up? Funny. This man's a cartoon character even in death. I saw myself I was gonna say, it looks like he might have been dead already. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me though. No one's a surprise in the tape. What in the world did I tell her? What the fuck was that about? Like he was already dead. So just like propped him up the fuck on the pole. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who put the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella, something on that tape that troubled me. And what's that? Really? Yeah, Crimson Shimmer's nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Did you just like wake up and see that dude? <laughs> I really low key high key did. Oh my god. I can't <laughs> believe it's fucking like pictures of Spider Man. Oh my god. I can't fucking save. God damn it. And what's that, Chief? I'm Ali's. Look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but. The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Yeah, that's Ray. Right. Hey, he's right. That is strange. The hidden man in black is the one who, was ki who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been under the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. <laughs> no! The cat pit. The cat. It was a cat box! Oh my god! Is this cat alive or dead? It's Schrodinger! Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. I fair feeling I messed up our crime scene. A little cat culprit vanishing than that. Hmm. It's my destiny bit. Long is being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. Other unknown That's a point X coming, Chief. This is Chief here. Did he show up? Uh, no, sir, not <laughs> yet, but, uh... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio, this was important! Oh, uh, well, this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our uh, rookie detective, Len. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the line. What do you want me to do, sir? Sure. <laughs> what do you say, Inspector? Detective! Get my baby away from Point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her! Yes, sir, I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynch open Point X? Special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location! Don't know, Chief. I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. There's no such thing as coincidence. Oh. But you already knew that. Only hit Suzanne. What happened? Detective, come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! Let's go for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me! Thank goodness he's f calling there. I think all these people are fucking oblivious. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
What are you doing? Get your buns over here! <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> What'd you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. For our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Oh, uh, excuse me. This is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Going to the police. The police? Did something happen there that you need assistance with? Something happened to here, you ask? No, there's nothing left here! I gotta go! Wait. Wait! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? There's a woman on roller skates <laughs> next to him. What's going on? Something that's what? Something's definitely going on. That something is far from nothing, that's for certain. It's not nothing, it's something. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You going to Boynex? Boynex, huh? I'll leave that to the boys. Simply says I gotta be. Inspector. You being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? That responsibility I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right. That's true. Do what you must. There he fucking goes. There he goes. Yeah. Prisoner Dan is scheduled for tomorrow was blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out. Now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Yeah. Lynn, my only real lead and partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go, where I had to go to get my answers. A chicken kitchen. <laughs> the point X of the police have surrounded. In a place where something big just happened. But will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Dead! <laughs> <laughs> a ghost? Who knows? Probably both. Oh man. That was a whole hour, holy shit. When is Missile gonna come back? Missile is dead forever and never coming back. You won't believe it. Oh snap, we've unlocked new extras. We've always been unlocking new extras. I can't believe it. Alrighty, you then. unlocked the ghost puzzle. That's the end of this stream uh, tonight. <laughs> I am exceptionally hungry. I made something really unhinged during the last minute. How much chicken dinner? Really oh my. I, yeah, I mean, hey, me! You know, black I'll, butler anime! I'll just, I'll just... Oh, yeah, new black it. butler anime! I'll just, I saw, I saw, I'll just I post saw. it because I did take, <laughs> I did edit someone's meme art. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hell yeah, and all the uh, turmoil and strife. Black Butler. <laughs> when the fuck was the last season of that? Like, fucking, I was in. Oh, I was in high school. Ago. I'm gonna end the stream. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.